Welcome back. Hello. Hello. Okay. Am I loud? Loud and clear. Is the body visible? So visible. Okay. We proceed. What was part B of the question? Explain briefly the losses that occur in the power transformer. Read again in English. Explain briefly the losses that occur in a power transformer. Okay. Losses in a power transformer. Listen, when you hear the word losses in engineering, losses happen because there is movement, there is motion. Now, I've said that a transformer is a static machine. So, in a transformer, there is no physical motion, but there's motion of electrons, which is known as what? Current. And there's a motion of magnetic flux due to magnetic induction. So, there are what are known as, number one, irony losses. Number two, there are what are known as the copper losses. What are iron losses? These are losses in the transformer. TX is, is the, the abbreviation for transformer. These are losses in the transformer core due to magnetic flux. That's number one. Secondly, you need to mention that these losses, the iron losses, these losses do not depend on the loading of the transformer. These losses do not depend on the loading of the transformer. What do I mean? What do I mean by that? The iron losses in a transformer they do not change. Whether the transformer is fully loaded up to maximum capacity or the transformer is just energized, the losses are still the same. The iron losses are independent of the amount of loading. Reason being, the, the size of magnetic flux is not dependent on the current. Okay? Because the magnetic flux is only dependent on voltage and not Current. This is very important, gentlemen and energy. Listen, in electricity, power is equal to voltage multiplied by what? Current. All of you in the compound where you are, you are supplied at the same voltage, which is 400 volts 
but it's because it's single phase, 400 divided by the spout of three, 230 or 220 volts. All the houses where you are, from the transformer you are connected, you are all supplied at the same voltage. Yet, the amount of power you consume is different. What brings in the difference is the current. How much current you draw is what will determine how many units of electricity you use. The voltage does not matter. Okay? So, two houses connected to the same voltage, 220. The other one buys, they both buy 500 units. The other one, the units finish in two days. The other one, the units finish after one week. When you say, no, I'm going to complain. Yes, the voltage is the same. The units you bought are the same. The issue is the, the amount of current you are drawing is different. So losses in a transformer, the first loss in a transformer are the iron losses. And these losses are independent of the loading. Why? Because these losses only depend on the voltage. OK? I, I can see we are joined by who is Albert Lumamba. Don't worry, I know him. He's joining from Kafio Gojroa. Power Prime. Okay. Yes. Noted. Thank you. So you are late. Thank you for being late. Yes. Secondly, <laughs> the type of losses in the transformer are what are known as copper losses. Okay? These are losses in a winding. So in this case, both secondary and primary winding. Because we are talking of a what? A transformer. May I also suggest that the losses that you have in the transformer, you are also going to have them in a motor and you are also going to have them in a generator. In a generator, there's magnetism, so there will be iron losses. In a generator, they are winding, so there will be losses in the windings. Except that in the generator, we are not going to have secondary winding and the primary winding. Instead of secondary winding and primary winding in the generator, we are going to have the stator winding and the rotor winding. Even in the motor, we are going to have the rotor winding and the stator winding, which sometimes may be, the rotor may be defined as the amateur winding. Okay? So there will be these losses. In a Transformer number one, magnetic losses. Number two, copper losses. Now, we have stated that the copper losses, they are independent of the loading. But I mean the iron losses. But copper losses, get it from me, copper losses depend Only the amount of current, which is simply loading. So the more you load your transformer, the more the copper losses. But the iron losses are constant. That is a very important distinction. Because the question may come to say, distinguish between iron losses and copper losses in a transformer. The biggest distinction is that the copper losses are dependent on the load, whilst the iron losses are not dependent on the load. The iron losses will be constant.
So these roses are dependent on what the current, whilst the other roses are determined by what the voltage. Are we together? Yes. Hello? Hello. We are together. Okay. Can we proceed? Part C of the yes. question? Hello. Part C of the question says what? A 250 kVA. Okay. A 250 kVA transformer. Comma. 1,100 volts divided by 415 volts. Comma. 1,100. No. And 415 volts. 1,000, not 400. Yes. Is it 1,100 or 11,000? Uh, no, it's 1,100. The man who was writing was dozy. Supposed to be 11,000. This is 11 kV. Yes. I'll modify the question because of the powers vested in me as a professional engineer. You, you are just a student. Yes. You go and pull what is in the exam. Yes. That's that's voltages. Those are voltages. Of course, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Comma 50 50 hertz. Fifty hertz. Yes. Single phase transformer has eighty turns on the secondary. So number of turns on the secondary eighty. Yes. And then now the question is calculate the approximate values of the primary and secondary currents. That's one. Primary and secondary current. current. So, yes. Mm -hmm. And then uh, second uh, Roman numerals is the approximate primary terms. And the third Roman numerals, uh, the maximum value of the flux. Good. So we'll start with the currents. The currents. Yes. yes. OK. So power is equal to VI. Have they given us the power factor? No. No. OK, fine. So power is voltage multiplied by current. This is your power. Since the power factor is not given, so that is your power. So on the primary, 250,000 should be equal to 11,000 multiplied by current. So current will be. 250,000 divided by 11,000. Panchizo, what is I? 250 over 11. Two point seven. Two point seven. Correct. Good. That's how people who pass look like. <laughs> Amps. That will be occurring on the primary. How? Why are we saying it on the primary? Because we have used the voltage on the primary. On the secondary, power is the same power. The same power that enters the transformer should come out. So 250,000 to be equal to 415 volts multiplied by current. 
So our current would be 250,000 divided by 415. Bunch. Six zero two. Six zero two point four. Good. Amps. So you can see that on the on the primary voltage is high, current is low. On the secondary, current is low, voltage. I mean, voltage is low, current is high. So we have stepped down the voltage, but we have stepped up the current, the current. So, sir. That is what happens in the transformer. And this uh -huh. is why go and, go and check in your plant. You are going to find that your step down transformer, only the primary side, the conductors are small in size because there's very small current. Only the secondary side, where you have got low voltage, the conductors are very big because there's a lot of current to be handled in there. So Any is that relevant a... question before we proceed? Yes, that's a question. I think I was the cut off uh, the challenge with network. So where uh, it is showing that a 250 kVA, then we are given these other voltages, the 11,000 and the two and the 415 volts. So the 250 kVA, that is the type of transformer that is uh, like working, or what's the difference between this one and the other two voltages? 250 kVA, K is 4,000. Yeah. V is for voltage, A is for amps. That's the which makes it Yes, which makes it the power. But in the transformer, we don't say 250 watts. Power in the transformer is measured in the volt ampere. To give you an idea that we are multiplying voltage and current. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is not the type of a transformer. We call Everything. it we call it the rating of a transformer. <laughs> Yes, the rating. Yeah, it's making sense. What is happening there if we? Who's the guy that's going to go back for you? What is happening there? Yeah, my little job. Okay. Then I'm going to come back. We proceed. Next part of the question. The approximate, the approximate primary, primary chains. Well, the approximate primary chains. Good. So, secondary. Mm, eight times is where on the primary so oh, on the secondary so now they, so they want for for the primary okay, so any secondary 80 what about np okay so ns Vs should be equal to NP VP. So NS eight Vs four fifteen. NP we don't know. VP eleven thousand. Mm -mm. okay. It's not like this. No, it's not like this. It's supposed to be a fraction. Yeah. It's supposed to be NS over VS. 
to be equal to NP over VP, correct? So 80 over 415 to be equal to NP, we are looking for it, over 11,000, correct? From here, NP will be equal to 80 multiplied by 11,000 divided by 415 number of tens on the primary. So we have 80 multiplied by 11,000. Divided by 415. 2,120. Point four. So you can't have a point times. You round off the next one number. Anyway, they said approximately. So 2,121 tens. The side where there's more voltage, there should be more tens. The side where there's less voltage, there should be less tens. We proceed. Proceed to it. Okay. <laughs> Let's finish the question. The maximum value of the flux. The maximum value, value of the flux. Of the that flux which is moving, we said in, the, in the core. Moving in the core. Yes. Yes, that's how educated people sound. <laughs> Yo, school your parent. To solve that one, we use an animal called the EMF equation of a transformer. Okay. EMF is equal to 4.44 multiplied by by five. No, multiplied by frequency five number of times. That's the EMF equation. So if you use the EMF, which is the voltage on the secondary, you use the number of turns on the secondary. If you use the voltage on the primary, use the number of turns on the primary. So here, we are going to use where there was 80, which was given. So 80 was given, it was for where? For secondary, right? Yes, secondary. Yes. So I'm going to use the voltage on the secondary, which is 415 is equal to 4.44 multiplied by the frequency 50 hertz multiplied by five, multiplied by 80. Then you solve for five, and then you will be counted to be among the educated. Five is equal to 415 over 4.44 times 50 times 80. Punch this one. We get zero point zero two three four Weber and the answer in Weber should be always a small value, and we always multiply by one thousand. So this gives us twenty three. Point four million way back. Please never find 
phi ilikiwa omega ta kwamba it is always in mili Ladies and gentlemen, this marks the end of Transformers Part One. We have only two questions on Transformers: either this one or where they ask for losses. So I posted two questions: this one and the other one. You can solve the other one using these formulas. As far as DTK is concerned, I have worked. Nichifye pa Zambia damaisho kutasha. Kutasha fye we no basa kumisa kama. Awe wengi watu la ya kwali de mano kwali de kano ku kwali de kato nomba kutamba kofenga wale ita graduate wale post na kipa Facebook. No tuwa na kona thank you. They will just say I've done it. Then you say oh. 